probably back in like 1992. I was in like the punk rock scene and you know, you had to have tattoos. Like I liked the tattoos. I always liked tattoos and I kind of just hooked up with one of my friends brothers he was a tattooer and i just like gravitated towards him and was up his ass every two seconds trying to to tattoo you know and whenever he wasn't looking i'd use his stuff and tattoo myself tattoo my friends and that was it it's funny because like all the first tattoos i did were like lip tattoos head tattoos and tribal and i loved the tribal it seemed like a great way to start you know and throughout my career like I've gone through all different phases and I was always doing black. That's what people want. Like I guess like all my styles had developed through all my clients. You know, I kind of just do what they want. I was just like a walk-in artist. Well, the tattoo I'm gonna do today, I'm covering up a traditional sleeve. I'd say 75, maybe even 90% is all cover up. It's people who are just sick of like, sick of either the person who did it or sick of the tattoo or something. And it's weird because they come in and I'm like, man, you're gonna cover that? It's like, it's awesome. Like, the person who did it's great. It's, it looks, please don't try and talk me out of this. I want it, I'm like, okay. I usually do like, probably like one black out a year through my whole career for like the last 25 something years. It's just been black once a month and then, you know, Instagram kind of like set it off one day. I came up with like this um, pseudo traditional acid traditional style. And then here and there I do blackouts. And one day I was like, you know, I'm gonna post this. Probably won't do good, but who knows? And then I posted it. Next thing I know, I got four more people ask me for them. And you know, I don't turn down anything you know like i'm here to tattoo you know at your service and you know i tattooed them posted it and then i got like another five and it slowly just took over my book for, i guess for like the last three years that's all i've been doing and i actually i kind of like it i like the way it looks like i said it's sharp it's it looks like a i don't know like apocalypto style it's like it's now i guess when you go to get a blackout the rest of your life will be different it seems like every person nowadays has something to say. And with the blackout, I mean, people, you know, no matter who you walk by, no matter where you go, people are gonna be, like, be up in your business. They're gonna be touching you, talking to you. You're gonna get really good at reading lips from across the room. You know, people are, you know, gonna have to tell you whether they like it or they don't, or you're stupid or you're not. And so you're gonna have to deal with like that, that, cause it happens, you know, like it's very like, taboo, I guess, still. And who would have thought that, you know, tattooing would still be taboo, but I guess when you do like heavy blackouts on yourself, people are gonna like have to say something. So it's definitely a life changer, you know. It's body modification. Like it's like plastic surgery. Like it's way different, you know, just the blackouts. It's extreme, really, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone has something to say. That's the thing, you know things like online, like it goes viral, you know, you might, I might one day have like a hundred comments and it's all little <laughs> symbols, and people throwing up <laughs> and it's like, why, why, but why, but why? And I'm just like, I love this. Usually when I see a blackout that's done, I can tell right away what they did wrong. I can tell what size needle they used. I can tell everything, <laughs> you know, like the ink. I can tell how old it is, which way they went with it. I can see like a pattern, you know? You can see like lines, stripe. And most blackouts I see aren't that good, you know? I get a lot of people, you know, trying to come to me to like refix their horrible blackouts and I don't like doing that either, so. The ones that are really tricky are botched blackouts really impossible for me to ever make them look normal again. There's gonna be all different tones of black in there. Also, full saturation colored sleeves that are newer than five years old, where a lot of the pigments have been mixed with white. I have a really hard time with those. They take a lot longer. They're way harder to do. Um, the ink does not like to go into baby blue, yellow, white. I'm always hoping that someone has an old sleeve. Sometimes if you're like an olive complexion 
super darker, it might turn a little green looking. You know, it's never gonna be as black as when the photo is taken. It just looks so black. And it might be more gray, green, blue. It all comes down to the person's, um, I guess, skin complexion, the skin tone. So the paler you are, it's gonna be black, like really black. When I have people heal blackouts, I mean, they take a few months to fully heal, but they look healed in like five days. You probably peel on like the fourth day for a good 48 hours and then you're good. Yeah, I don't really have any problems with people like having to lose their arm or, <laughs> you know, having huge scabs and pus. Like I don't, I don't ever get that. They're just really nice, smooth heels. And I guess that comes down to technique. It's been a while since I've seen anything that I've done 10 years ago for like a heel tattoo, but I guarantee you because of the ink I use, I've been using it like most of my career, that it's gonna look good. Like when a heel, it, like it's not gonna dissipate, you know? Like it's you're not gonna start getting patches. I guess my oldest one that I still see is probably around 2014 and it looks perfect still. Like there's nothing leaving it. I think longevity, they're gonna look good forever. I think they look better with, with age, you know? Personally, like when I first do them, they look great. You know, they're photogenic, but I like when they're like old and worn and then it looks really nice, especially if it's done right. And that's how these are gonna be. You know, they're definitely gonna stand the test of time.